Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Unit Lost, I'm Stylosa and this ladies and gentlemen is Titanfall. Now I've just come off a massive session of this game. I've literally been playing it for about four hours, five, I don't even know, I've just been playing it solid, okay. Now, I, 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 I am quite impressed, in fact that's probably an understatement, I'm extremely impressed. Now, I kind of really didn't follow Titanfall all that much. I was just like, yeah, this is a Call of Duty clone with Titans. You know, what's the difference? Respawn Entertainment, the guys who've made this, are basically the original Call of Duty team anyway, uh, from, you know, Modern Warfare 2, I think, onwards, although don't quote me on that. But you can see this takes a lot of influence from Call of Duty, okay? Kind of like the way the, the gunplay works and, and stuff like that. But I tell you what, I have had so much fun with this. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Naturally, this is a round where I absolutely kick ass, ladies and gentlemen. Because as if I was going to show one where I do bad and, and lose. No, I do really, really well. Although, there are a couple of things I want to explain. So, at the start of the game, um, like as each match starts, you can select these things called burn cards. Now, you earn these through playing the game. And you basically burn the card. Um, in the sense of like when you die, when you respawn you use the card up and the card is gone. So the card will give you something like, it might make you run faster, uh, it might give you a special weapon, it might give you something, but when you die you lose it and it's gone, and the card is gone as well. So obviously you have to keep playing the game to earn the cards. I, I, I don't know, I kind of like that system, although I keep forgetting to put the goddamn cards in, which is really annoying. So what I would have done normally, as I started the game, is I have an ability called Stim, okay, which replaces Cloak, which is kind of the standard ability everybody gets where you can cloak yourself. Um, it's not bad cloak, but Stim makes you run really, 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 really fast. And I, I always favour, like, SMG, close combat, fast movement style of, like, you know, character builds, if you will, uh, in these type of close quarters FPS games. Although this is... I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't entirely call this close quarters. It's kind of, like, mid-range. Obviously, it's not like Battlefield or something like that where you've got the massive distances involved because the maps are not that big, you know, clearly. Um, but, yeah, I... I Generally, as I start the game, I'd have the prosthetic legs, which makes you run faster. I'd use that burn card straight away. I'd pop my steam straight away, and I'd be halfway up the map. And people don't expect you to be there. And you kill, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, as you see at the start of this video, I did kill the guy straight away at the start. Um, that was just with stim, um, which is sort of, you know, what, what can I say? Although in this video, I don't really show that much in terms of Titan combat. Because I don't really get in my Titan on this video. I use its AI quite a bit. You can see I keep completing these challenges all over the place as well. It's 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 really, really hectic for me to even commentate on this. So I'm watching the video back because this is not real-time commentary. Because um, I don't even think that would be possible. The game is so massively fast and frantic. Um, it, I, yeah, it's just... It's like a really, really fast-paced game. And this is where I jump onto a Titan. Rip off the uh, little protective cover. And shoot the shit out of its Titan brain. Which is the way, uh, the way of things, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you don't think this is cool, awesome, a rad, or whatever you want to call it, then I don't know who you are. Um, brain surgeon, beautiful. I also shoot the pilot as I'm falling, but I don't kill him. And then I jump on another Titan, and you know what? I think I'll rip this Titan's brains out and shoot him. Because, uh, because I love it, ladies and gentlemen. I think, like, the game, it gives you such, like, a feeling of, you are this badass. Now, the way it's set up, a lot of people have... Kind of had issues with this so it's 6v6 so six pilots on each team and then there's a lot of ai kind of just grunts all over the place they are really really stupid the ai's I, i've not even been killed by the ai even when there's been like four or five of them standing in front of me you can just mow them down and you get 10 points per kill if you kill a pilot which is an enemy player you get 100 points so you can run around the map killing the the, the grunts if you wish in this uh, attrition mode where killing grunts pilots and titans um basically can you see in the bottom left, you've got the Militia and the IMC. Um, it's kind of like the ticket system in Battlefield. The more kills you get, it reduces the ticket. But that also goes down when you kill just the Grunts and things like that. But it goes down more so when you kill Pilots, I believe. Um, but yeah, I had my reservations about that. I thought this is going to be a bit ridiculous. You know, 6v6, the maps, you know, they're kind of big enough to support more than that. You could probably have like 15v15 or something like that. At least 10v10. Uh, but I think I'm slowly coming round to this because you feel like this big ultimate badass where you even hear the grunts say, oh my god, that's a pilot, you know, as you run by and things like that. You turn a corner, you mow down five grunts, and then you kill a pilot. Okay, they're AI, but it really kind of adds to the immersion of it. Like, you've just shot these five guys and murdered this. It's like, oh my god, I feel like a badass. And then, see, like, these are ti uh, AI titans. They're, they're just like grunts, which I'm killing. Like, I run past one there, then I turn around and I'm like, oh god, yeah, grunt. You can see how stupid they are, they're terrible. Um, but yeah, as I said, like, 
then you get you drop your Titan down, jumping into I, it, the game makes you feel like this absolute crazy. And I think like one of the kind of master strokes with it is even if you're not that good, you know, if you're not a very good FPS player, you're still gonna feel like you are an absolute king because you, you're probably gonna kill like at least ten guys in the round. You know, that, uh, well grunts AI. Um, you might even take out a Titan. It's. I, I, you know, like I said at the start, guys, I didn't think I'd enjoy this, but I really have enjoyed this. And this has sort of been the only FPS game in recent years where I've really, really, really enjoyed it. It feels really, like, tight. Like, really accurate as well. It doesn't feel, like, spongy or crappy. Um, I. Yeah. I think this is shooting more Titan Brain. Because, you know, Titan Brain, we, we love shooting Titan Brain. But that being said, there are some kind of negative things which I'm not. I think I killed that guy in the air. Do I? No. So the graphics. Let's talk about the graphics. The texture resolution isn't the best on some of the textures. Um, I don't think it's going to win any awards. You know, in the graphics department, the aesthetics department, maybe it will. In that department, because it does look... You know, the world design and stuff is kind of fairly nice. Um, this futuristic industrial feel it's got going on. Which I... If I'm honest, I prefer them than the old laser type crap. I don't really like lasers. You know, I'm a big fan of Battlestar Star Galactica rather than Star Trek. Although I do like Star Trek, but Battlestar Galactica for me, that's the best sci-fi. Good lord. Realistic, kind of, although FTL drives, yeah. In fact, you've got FTL drives in this. What the hell? Um, but yeah, I... I am impressed, ladies and gentlemen, and I didn't think I would be, and I am really impressed, and I can see this being something I'm going to play quite a bit, because it's just... You know, this video is like, what, seven and a half minutes long? Something like that. That's one round. And it's so intense. So, like, bang, you're in this, like, intense firefight. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. And as I said, obviously, I'll come top. But I tend to come top most of the time anyway. I'm pretty good at FPS games. I don't know whether you've noticed. but uh, <laughs> So, there you go, guys. This has been, like, a, a bit of a video kind of outlining Titanfall and how I think it actually is a pretty good game. Um, obviously, it takes a lot of influence from Call of Duty, but I think it... It evolves that, and it, it it attracts. Well, it's attracted me to the game. Whereas Call of Duty, I couldn't really give a crap about. But this, this has been quite the thing. And of course, you have got all these unlocks and whatever going on. But you know, that's kind of the standard fare in, uh, I guess, modern FPS these days. And I've completed a shed load of challenges because I'm the man. Yeah, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Stylo, so there probably will be more time for coverage on the channel. So if you like the video, then like the video and stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll catch you next time because I'm desperately going to go back now and play more of the beta. Good lord. Toodaloo.